Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem app 8-1 from RCP Palette Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, if P equals to 200 newtons, determine the friction developed between the 50 kg crate and the ground. The coefficient of static friction between the crate and the ground is 0.3. So to solve this problem, let us draw all the forces that are acting on the crate. So I have the weight force acting downwards. W is equals to 50 into 9.81. And then I have the force P, the force P that is at some angle. So I can resolve it into its components. I have this vertical component and this is the horizontal component. Let us consider this angle right here as theta. So for theta, by considering this 3, 4, 5 triangle, And by using the relation of 10, so we have 10 theta is equals to, this right here is also theta, 3 which is, that is the opposite, over the adjacent which is 4. So theta becomes 36.87 degrees. This right here becomes P sine theta and this right here is P cos theta. Now for the frictional force, since the horizontal component of force P is directed towards left hand side, so the frictional force should be directed towards the right hand side. Like this. So let us label it as well. This right here is the frictional force. And the normal force would be drawn some offset to the line of action of the weight to prevent the crate from toppling over. So now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium, but before that we have to consider a condition that is, let's assume if crate is in equilibrium, then the frictional force F should be equals to or less than the limiting friction that is mu s n this right here is the limiting friction and the limiting friction by right here the limiting friction is the maximum value of static friction. So after solving the problem, we have to verify this condition as well. So now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So we have sum of the forces in x direction equals to 0 since the gate is in equilibrium. If I consider right hand side as positive, then I have P negative P cos theta plus F equals to 0. So F is equals to P cos theta, and from here, F is equals to P that is 200 into cos theta and 
the theta is 36.87 degrees. So from here, the frictional force becomes one sixty newtons. But now we have to verify this condition as well. So for that we have to find the normal reaction. So for normal reaction for N we have to sum the forces in the y direction as well. So sum of the forces in y direction is equals to zero. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have negative P sine theta minus W plus N is equals to zero. So from here N is equals to 50 into 9.81 plus P that is 200 sine 36.87 so from here n becomes 610.5 newtons so let's verify this condition as well so for verification F is 160, mu S is 0 0.3 and N is 610.5. So from here 160 is less than 183.15 Newtons. So our assumed condition is valid. Let us write here our assumed or our assumption is valid that rate is in equilibrium that rate is in equilibrium this is it for this problem i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for daily updates and if you have any question or any doubt about this problem, you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.